I just wanted to take a quick minute uh, and kind of explore the differences between second edition and first edition Hearts and Minds. Uh, there's already been an unboxing video, so I won't go down that road, but I thought it would be interesting to look at them side by side uh, with some of the different components because uh, I did see some differences as I as I opened the box that I wasn't really expecting. Uh, first, we can see second edition here is uh, I don't know about 30% thicker, which is which is nice, uh, especially with the new mounted map. So uh, definitely appreciate it. As we can see, everything fit everything fit in my first edition box anyway, uh, so that didn't matter too much. But um, it is it is nice to see a bigger box. Let's look at the cards really quick. Um, here's first edition. We have them in, or I have them in card protectors. I'm not sure which ones these are. Um, I need to look into that a little bit because um, I'm going to want to get some more because these cards aren't great. Um, like this one doesn't have, this is card number two, it doesn't have any art on it, uh, which is kind of strange to me, because I think they were saying they were updating the art. But here they are side by side. The new edition's actually smaller. Um, it's glossier and a little bit thicker cardstock. Uh, the back is a little bit better. I mean, that's That looks nicer. It's glossier uh, with the cover art on it. Uh, I kind of like this. Uh, this is good though too. I kind of want that on a t-shirt. Uh, nice and glossy. Still really not what I was expecting in a card. Um, no rounded corners as we can see. Uh, so a little disappointing on that on that side, but they are nice and glossy. Um, and I guess they do realize there are some issues with the cards, and I don't know if they're reissuing them to everyone or what's going on with that, but but I know there are some issues that they have recognized with, with the cards. Uh, the dice that came in second edition are these. I'm not sure what edition or what kind of dice came in this. This is And the rules book uh, is quite a bit different. Just right off the bat, we can see there are these nice kind of colored glossary of uh, what's called what. Here's the first edition. 
Um, pretty plain. Uh, I've never actually read this because when I bought it, I knew that there was a second edition of the rules uh, and the playbook, so I've just always used my, my home printed version. Uh, but it is nice uh, to see this new version. And if I remember correctly, these these do have all the changes that took place in that in that second uh, version of the rules, which isn't referenced here. I, I would like to see like a version two. Uh, maybe that would throw people off who aren't super familiar with the game. Um, but I'll be reading through just to see if any additional changes have been made. But uh, I, w I will be surprised if that's not the second second version. I, that would be kind of upsetting. Uh, then we have the playbook. And again, just looking at the formatting, we can see there's some difference there. Uh, in here are the kind of shout outs from the Kickstarter campaign, the dedications. Um, mine, it says they're printed as, as they came, uh, and mine has a typo, <laughs> which means it probably had a typo in it when I, when I gave it. Uh, where'd it go? There, there we go. Jason Young to Benicio Gallego. Uh, but the playbook looks good, even just the way the color coding is, is set up for the different. Uh, the, the two different factions and the uh, the description of the cards. Not every card's listed in here, which is kind of strange. Uh, maybe they don't all need uh, explanation. But there we have it. Uh, also, what was included in the first edition were these um, sequence of play, kind of play chart, play aid kind of things. Um, again. I think there were some differences from there, so I just printed my own out. Um, these aren't included in the new edition of the game at all um, because they're included in the map. So here's the first edition map. Uh, a lot of people have an issue with how small it is. It is pretty small because you'll end up having uh, you know stacks in here and they, they kind of stack on top of each other. Uh, long and skinny, no charts or anything. Let's take a look at this new monster. proper sized map, uh, nice, beautifully mounted, um, nice blue textured backing. And we're upside down. Let's flip this. And this is the new one. Um, just, uh, and I, I think this was available. Somebody did this kind of saying, hey, this the, the regular edition isn't good and made this available uh, for people to print out, but it's not even a the, the first edition map isn't even half of this uh, Which is pretty cool. Um, it is weird that it's long ways, so it doesn't fit on my table quite right here um, But let's see if we can I have the body count pool uh, game track, but all the charts and everything are on both sides of the map uh, which is which is really nice. Um, so you'll probably play it sitting this way uh, and see everything you need to see. Um, absolutely beautiful. So other than the card issue, um, which Worthington is working behind the scenes on, I guess right now, trying to get it sorted out. Definitely an improvement, uh, even just from the map, uh, the map and the box. Those alone are are pretty nice. Um, I'm not sure. I'm going to look into the card issue a little bit before I do end up getting rid of my first edition, but I can see this getting passed on to someone. Um, because I probably don't need to have two of them. Um, part of me wants to keep it just for posterity, but not, probably not needed. Uh, and then this is something I just printed out as a order of battle. But those are the differences. Hearts of Minds, Vietnam, 1965-1975, version 1 versus uh, version 2.